Greetings and welcome back to another Metal Gear Solid 5 FOB event guide. The FOB for the next two weeks is going to be the Skulls Attack event, and that's going to last until July the 9th. Mission tasks are as follows. Neutralize three security guards. Neutralize one security guard with missiles. Fulton three security guards. Infiltrate successfully. Infiltrate within 300 seconds or 5 minutes. Infiltrate with equipment grade 5 or below. And infiltrate dressed in combat fatigues. So what we're going to be bringing today is the grade 4 Riot SMG. We're going to go ahead and attach the long magazine to that if you have it. We're also going to put on the improved stock. We're going to go ahead and put the grade 3 dot sight on there, or any dot sight. It really doesn't matter. It's up to preference. And normally we would put the flashlight laser module on something like this, but we're going to go ahead and keep that vertical foregrip on for just a little bit of extra stability. And I'm going to make it match my camo, as usual. You do not need to do this. We're going to bring along a nice cheap assault rifle, and under most circumstances I would say you don't need to use it, but uh, you'll see what happens. We're also going to bring a cheap Grom 11 missile launcher, too. Today we're going to be infiltrating the base development platform and we're going to be dropping in at the default location. We're going to go ahead and have that nice cheap assault rifle and the Grom 11 grade 2 missile launcher. We're also going to have the grade 4 riot SMG that we customized. We're only going to bring magazines, but we're probably not going to use them. And we're going to bring along our night vision goggles as well, the best version you have available to you. And we're going to bring our weakest, cheapest wormhole Fultons. We're also going to be dressed in a metal or concrete surface fatigue. And as usual, drop in at night. So from the start, I'm going to go ahead and fold in this gun. Uh, as usual, if you're pressed for time, if your runs are coming up a few seconds too short, uh, you don't need to do that. After that, we're going to look for a guy to get our missile kill with. And okay, looks like we got one right there. Uh, not many people out today. Hopefully they're all in back here. And yeah, it looks like they are. They are. So that's good for us. We're going to go ahead and fold in these three guys. Now, after you get this last Fulton, you can go ahead and proceed up to the mortar for the cheese strategy. Or you can stick around and Fulton these anti-aircraft guns. I'm going to do that because I've got plenty of time. But if you don't, just feel free to run up there. Don't put your run in jeopardy. Also, now's a good time to throw on your night vision goggles. Now, it looks like we've got one, two guys up here. I don't think either of them see us, so we're just going to go ahead and creep up the ladder here. And we're going to go ahead and jump on the mortar, position it uh, exactly where I've got it, and uh, once you start firing, don't stop. Just keep firing. I think I do it a little bit too slow here, and that should get all four of the skulls nice and dead. Okay, they're going to teleport back, and what is this? It looks like one of them slipped the net. Now, I have had this happen once or twice, and instead of doing everything perfect, I, I want to go ahead and show that it is possible to deal with one straggler if you've got it. Um, again, we've still got some shots for this Grom 11, and we've still got a nice uh, cheap assault rifle, but still a decently effective assault rifle with us. Um, it's all about locating this guy. He doesn't have a lot of health. He did regenerate his armor. So, um, you'll see that these Grom 11 rounds don't really do a heck of a lot to him. 
But what we can do is we can whittle him down with the assault rifle. We can go ahead and start uh, pumping away headshots on him. And that'll help to whittle down his armor. The, the thing we want to do, though, is just make sure he doesn't... Oh, I screwed up there. Uh, make sure he doesn't regenerate anymore. So you can just go ahead and start popping him. Um, make sure you don't die again, too, because we uh, we are just wearing fatigues. We've got really no no armor to speak of. Do not get hit by these uh, little ground earthquake boulder explosion things. Those uh, won't do you any favors. So just keep chipping away at him. It's not doing a lot of damage, but it is effective. And when you do get uh, really messed up like this, don't be afraid to hide. Um, you could always bring a better but still under grade 5 assault rifle. That'll do uh, more damage than what I have now, obviously. And it's not a horrible strategy. But um, it, it's still something that... It's still doable. If you only have one left and he has this tiny little sliver of health and I do believe we even get this done in five minutes so we're still um, we're still accomplishing all of the mission tasks as well so just just keep chipping away at him chipping 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 away um, again making sure you kind of keep an eye on your health making sure that you don't get too messed up we got a we got a good streak going here too um, if you ever do get shot too much, you can always try to run toward him. That'll cause him to teleport and stop shooting you for a second. So I'm just gonna just gonna wait for him to get into a more opportune position. Sometimes he'll glitch out and just wander around up in that area, and there's really not much you can do. If you, if you go back up there, he'll start teleporting around again. I believe that's what's gonna happen here. Yep. Yep. See. Alright, so once you hear that, once he does that little pose, that means he's effectively uh, had his armor broken, and then you can go ahead and finish him off rather quickly. And, um, yeah, not the cleanest, but again, just showing that this is possible, showing that this is something that isn't going to completely ruin your run. So a bit of a different take on the Skull's attack this week, just to show that it is possible even if everything doesn't go as planned. If you have any questions or comments, throw them down in the comment section. Please do throw me a like and a subscribe if you haven't already, make sure to click that notification bell as well. As always, thank you very much for watching the video, and until next time, have a good one.